Heinz Ward is not new to big challenges. Raised in a single family home with his mother in Georgia, Heinz put the pressure on himself early and he set out on a course for greatness. In high school, he was a two-time All-County Player of the Year. At the University of Georgia, he played tailback, wide receiver, and quarterback and graduated with an economics degree. He played 14 years of pro football, winning two world championships and collecting an MVP trophy along the way. After retiring from football in 2011, Hines has taken on new challenges. His next adventure? The 2013 Ironman World Championship in Kona, Hawaii. To complete this epic race, each participant must swim 2.4 miles, bike 112 miles through the lava fields, and run a 26.2 mile marathon in temperatures that routinely climb north of 100 degrees. Hines Ward is about to take on the adventure of a lifetime to become an Ironman. This is his journey, to become one. This is the city of Atlanta, and this is day one of Heinz Ward's Ironman journey. Heinz coach, eight-time Ironman world champion Paul Nibby Frazier, is in town to assess his fitness level and introduce Heinz to what to him is a brand new sport, triathlon. I'm super excited to meet him face to face. We have built a, a fairly good rapport over email. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good to see you. Yeah, finally. Come on in. Thank you. Here I am learning and, and, and a newbie into the uh, endurance world and for her to take time out to come here in Georgia and teach me the essence of what it takes to be an endurance athlete. It's, I have all this equipment, don't know what to do with it. I know. It's, not, it's all very sad. It's very overwhelming. Yeah. You know, I've never had a sports watch. I've never had a heart rate monitor on. Today, Made it official. Here's my outfit. I feel like uh, Magic Mike in these. This is real. It ain't no turning back now. So what is this? The Yo, that's, shoes. that's, oh, here Don't they are. They're right there. Uh, helmet. Do you I think today when we kick off this journey is for me to have the opportunity to see him and see where he is in his overall body health. So yeah. what are we doing first? What are we? You have your favorite. Heinz is number one favorite thing of all time now, swimming. <laughs> <laughs> After checking out some of his new gear, Paula and Heinz take a 15 minute drive to Swim Atlanta. This is not your high end fitness boutique. Four cement walls and six lanes. His Atlanta based swim coach is Ryan Bree, and he has a pretty ambitious workout plan for Heinz this morning. I like to kind of use the drills in the beginning snorkels, okay. um, pull buoys, the paddles. For me, I've never swam before. You know, you swim my little pool, a lap is nothing, maybe 10 yards. One of the keys with him is, is trying to build up an aerobic base. We want him to be a little more uncomfortable, be a little fatigued, and then figure out how to get through that. Having a, a better efficient stroke as you're going out so you're not tiring yourself out. That's something that I've been working on. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna make you hold your wrist when you're swimming. One of my initial concerns was what his swimming level and ability would be. I've never had a doubt that we can coach him to be a great bike rider and get his running to be efficient, but swimming is a, is a different kind of sport. The message that I think is going to be absolutely critical over the next few months, and that is building his endurance foundation. He has none, and I definitely saw it in his face and in his eyes at the end of the day. He was exhausted. That's the first thing you start off at the Ironman is the swim part. So I want to make sure I at least do that well because if you go out there and you do that bad, that just you have to make up for the times in, in other areas. It's just fitness. When you're fresh, the stroke feels good. It only starts to come apart when you get tired, and the only reason you're tired is because you're not fit. After the swim, Hines needs to refuel, 
so that he's recovered for his next workout. Heinz and Paula will run along a quiet road down by the Chattahoochee River. For me, it's the football player that comes out. It's all about speed to me and to turn it back and slow it down like Paula tells me. It's just so difficult to do. We'll go like five minute jog, we'll walk a minute, and then we'll, we'll either go like eight or 10 minutes. Okay, cool. let's go. It's still faster than walking. Yes. His perception of running is sprinting down the field to, to catch a pass and sprinting for the end zone. I finally was able to get him to shorten his stride, increase his turnover so he didn't have these great big long strides. Visually seeing it and seeing the pace, you know, she shortened my steps a little bit. Uh, it definitely, that changed everything. In endurance running, everything is short and compact. Well, by the time we get this, it'll be basically three miles, in yeah, 32 minutes. And you were totally steady. Now I'm starting to learn. I felt like by shortening up, yeah. I had more control. Yes, and, you do. And I wasn't. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. The third training session of the day is called an A2 or anaerobic threshold test. Voila. Once we got Heinz all set up on the bike, we conducted what we call an anaerobic threshold test. Because once we have his baseline, we'll be able to create the workouts and become efficient to go long distances for long periods of time. You said this is going to get harder? Yes. How far can we push your body to the limit to get your heart rate up? Good job. A minute and a half. Stay on it. Yeah. Okay. Good job. That's it, I'm done. You're done. Oh. I think we made huge progress today. You today got, was real. One of the biggest things today was the recovery aspect because for the first time we threw three workouts at you. Yeah. I mean that was of, new for me. Yeah. Because you have to get up and do this all again tomorrow or yeah. parts of it. And then Let me so, get on my chocolate milk now then. Yeah. <laughs> get going on. Even though Kona is still a long way away, it's now obvious to Heinz how totally committed he'll have to be to take on the biggest challenge of his life. I never thought I could even run a marathon, so I skipped over a marathon and go right into a triathlon. What crazy guy am I? I'm excited for the challenge. This is real. It ain't no turning back now. I can see myself finishing. That's what drives me. I'm the greatest thing in the world is when they say, Heinz War, you're an Iron Man. In our next episode, dietitian Leslie Bonsey works with Heinz on creating a nutrition plan, and Coach Paula returns to Atlanta to take Heinz on his first ever outdoor bike ride using clipless pedals. All right, how do I clip in? Clip